Hello kids, I'm back and it's nice to see all of you again. By the way, my name is Teacher Real and welcome to Destiny Kids Church Online. So why do we call our church Destiny? Because we believe in that word, Destiny. There is a verse in the Bible in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. That was an amazing promise of God. And that means that God's plan for us is always okay, approved, and the best. Can we repeat that all together? God's plan is always okay, approved, and the best. Alright! So, before we start our lesson, I invite you to stand up, stretch ourselves, and be ready to sing praises to the Lord. Every star you know by name with one breath all life begins from the beginning until the end you're my one foundation you saved me inside and out
That was an amazing time of worship. I believe that all of you enjoyed it. So for this week, we will going to open a new series entitled, I Am The Voice. And to start with, we will learn from the life of John the Baptist. So, we are going to watch this video and find out how John the Baptist became the voice that prepares the way for Jesus. Enjoy, kids! During the birth of Jesus, another baby boy was born by the name of John. He was Jesus' cousin and destined to be a great prophet. John was quite the character. He had a single important message, repent. People thronged to hear and see John. John wore rough clothes and ate strange food. He lived in the desert, and all he did was preach and baptize. He was preparing the way for Jesus' ministry and telling people about this wonderful Savior that would take away their sins and free them. John called on people to change their minds and behavior. He told them to stop sinning, to repent, and turn in obedience to God. Those who chose to repent would be baptized, which symbolized their changed life. John made sure that they weren't looking to him for salvation. He was merely a prophet. Instead, he told them that he was not even worthy to carry the sandals of Jesus. Some of the religious leaders didn't like all the hype and commotion. They were worried that it would stir up the people. They did not fully understand the news of Jesus, since they believed that God would show them first when this Savior was to come. And God did throughout their scriptures, yet they failed to grasp it. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to begin his ministry. That day, Jesus came out to the Jordan River to be baptized by John. When Jesus waded into the Jordan River where John was baptizing, John said, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you come to me? But Jesus insisted that John continue to baptize him. Jesus rose up out of the water, and immediately the heavens opened up with a bright light. God's Spirit descended like a dove and landed upon his head. Then God spoke and said that Jesus was his beloved Son and that he was very pleased with him. All around the shores of the river, the throngs of people saw and heard the voice. Many believed and many were still doubtful. Jesus' ministry had finally begun. Wow, amazing story, right? So before we learn more about John the Baptist and how he became the voice, we will first define what is the voice. So the voice is a sound that comes out from our mouth. The voice is a way of how people express themselves and it has a unique characteristic or unique identity. So right now, I will be sharing with you three points about the voice. Are you ready? First point is the voice has a message. In the story, John started telling people to stop sinning, to repent, or have a changed life and to turn in obedience to God. He also shared to all the people that there's a Savior that will come and will take away the sins of the world. And that Savior is Jesus, the beloved Son of God. Second point is the voice is important. Sinong naniniwala sa inyo na importante ang boses? Tama, importante ang boses para makapagsalita. 
since voice has a message, voice should be expressed and meant to be heard. In the story, John plays an important role in Jesus' ministry. He made sure that he prepares the way for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Third point is, the voice is unique. John the Baptist does not only have a different taste in clothing, and he does not only eat strange food, but he also introduced a unique way that symbolizes change life, and that is baptism. John began baptizing people with water, and that's where, that's where he got his name, John the Baptist. He even baptized Jesus with water, and people talked about him and tagged him as the Messiah. But that does not stop him to point all people to the one true Messiah, and that is Jesus Christ. As a kid, how are we able to become like John? First is to know who Jesus is. We can only tell about him and be his voice if we know him through his word. Remember that the voice is identified with Christ. It is important, it is unique, and it carries a message that is meant to be heard. It is meant to be shared with your siblings and friends that Jesus loves them Jesus died for them and through him we will experience God if we will have a relationship with him always remember that you may be a kid but you have a voice you are the voice and you must be heard all right so let us now pray let us bow down our heads and close our eyes Dear God, we thank you for today. We just want to thank you for the lesson that we've learned. We thank you that we learn to be the voice. The voice that carries a message and must be heard. That is, Jesus loves us and Jesus died for us. This time, we are lifting up to you our hearts and our lives make it pure make it clean we ask for forgiveness for everything that we have done that are not pleasing into your eyes so that we may have personal relationship with you and we may continually to be the voice to be heard by everyone. Lord, this time, we are also lifting up to you our families. We thank you for blessing us with them and blessing us with things that we need. We lift up to you our hearts that is very grateful. And this time, we continually thank you for everything that you're doing to our lives just want to say that you, we love you and we bring back all the glory and honor into your name, Jesus. Amen and Amen. Alright, so this time we will now have our memory verse. John chapter 1 verse 23 I am the voice shouting on the wilderness. Clear the way for the Lord's coming. And now, with actions. John chapter 1, verse 23. I am the voice shouting on the wilderness. Clear the way for the Lord is coming. Hi kids! For today's activity, 
we will do the megaphone craft. The materials needed for today's activity are bond paper, scissors, glue, ruler, tape, pencil, and some coloring materials. First, let's draw a diagonal line from both ends of the paper using pencil and ruler. After that, draw a short arc at the top. Cut the lines you draw using scissors. Don't forget to ask mommy and daddy to help you in cutting. You can now decorate your megaphone. You can draw and write something on it. It is time to shape your megaphone. Start by taking one end of the paper and rolling it over the other end. Then use a glue to fasten them. For the handle, you can cut a small rectangular shape from the excess paper you cut earlier. Then use a tape at both ends of the paper and paste it on the megaphone. That's it kids! We now have a megaphone. A megaphone is used to amplify a voice or sound. Don't forget that you have the voice and just like John the Baptist, let's lead other people to Jesus using our voices. Alright, that's all for today and I hope you've learned a lot. See you next week!